What's up everybody, Friday 3 right there, and we're back with another video. Today we're doing another awesome video. It's gonna be a walkthrough, one of the first of its kind. It's a Destiny walkthrough. Let's do it. Pretty much, it's the Rise of the Iron. First mission you start off with, everything begins right here. It starts on the side of a mountain on a snowy day. Well, side of a mountain is snowy. But yeah, let's go right into it. So once you're going, you have to make your way up to a gondola, which takes you to the higher part of the mountain. Before you get there, you'll find a couple of vandals and dregs, so you have to kill them off real quick. After you've killed those dregs and vandals, you have to make your way into the gondola and send the ghost into the two boxes to decode them and start the gondola and get it going. Now, on your way to the top where you're trying to get to, there will be dregs and vandals on both sides of the mountain on higher platforms trying to shoot you. Be sure to have a weapon long range so that you can shoot them and kill them without them killing you. After a certain point, you'll get shot down where you have to make your way off the gondola onto the mountain and do so. After you get off the gondola, all you have to do is pretty much follow the path up the mountain, kill a bunch of enemies, and then you get to Sepix. Once you get to Sepix, you'll see a couple of vandals praising him. All you have to do is get to a spot where you can shoot Sepix and he can't shoot you, put a couple shots on him and he will disappear. After Sepix disappears, there will be a bridge to your left where a couple of vandals appear. All you have to do is kill them and quickly cross the bridge. After you cross the bridge, Sepix Prime is spawned in the middle near the temple. What you have to do is you have to let him shoot you a couple times and he will be immune for the first couple shots. After that, you will be able to shoot him. What I recommend is to get up on higher ground so that you have a better shot at him and he has no shot on you. A good long range weapon would be perfect for this and a good rocket launcher as well as you can shoot, hide shoot and hide.
what I pretty much use is the storm call because I can clear out the enemies that spawn while I'm trying to kill Sepix and then I can just go back to my cover. After you've managed to kill Sepix, pretty much the cutscene begins and the mission is over. Thank you so much guys for watching. This is the first video walk of a walkthrough on the first Destiny Rides of Iron mission. Do stay tuned for more walkthroughs coming out real soon. Thanks for watching. Until next time, and peace out.